Poland has survived centuries of conflict to emerge as a proud, independent country, ready to assume her new role in modern history. Visitors to Poland are discovering what the locals have long known, that Poland is a country rich in fine culture, scenic landscapes, and extraordinary historical sites. Whether exploring the nation's vibrant cities, the lakes and forests of her picturesque countryside, or some of the other tourist attractions, visitors are sure to bring away rich memories. Here's a look at the best places to visit in Poland. Number 10. Malbork The medieval town of Malbork is best known for its castle, which was built in the 13th century by the Knights of the Teutonic Order as their headquarters. Europe's largest Gothic fortress is named after the Virgin Mary, the patron saint of the city and the castle. The castle is actually three structures, making it the world's largest brick castle. It took 230 years to build the castle, a majority of which was destroyed during World War II. Fortunately, much of the castle has been restored since then. Number 9. Poznan Student travelers wanting to meet their Polish peers might want to visit Poznan, long known as an academic center and home to Poland's third largest university. The city hosts many events, including the International Theater Festival that takes place every summer. Major sites are easily accessible by strolling the Royal Imperial Route, a walk set up especially for tourists. Athletes may enjoy a visit to the artificial Lake of Malta, home to a ski slope, ice rink, and swimming pools. Number 8. Biawa Vieja Forest The Biawa Vieja Forest is a large remnant of the primeval forest that once covered much of Europe. The forest straddles the border between Poland and Belarus, and there are border crossings for tourists on foot or on bicycles. The Biawa Vieja Forest is the only place where European bison still remain free and living in the forest as they once did throughout Europe. Wolves, lynx, elk, and wild boar are among its other inhabitants. Number 7. Auschwitz-Birkenau A visit to Auschwitz-Birkenau is a powerful experience that words can scarcely describe. The immense size of the infamous Nazi concentration camp is the first thing to strike visitors as they approach the entrance to the memorial and museum. Devoted to the memory of the murders in the camps during World War II, Auschwitz-Birkenau has been visited by more than 25 million people.
Number six, Tatra National Park. Travelers who crave scenic beauty will find it in Tatra National Park, located in south central Poland. Established in 1954, the park is mainly forests, meadows, and numerous rock formations covering the Tatra Mountains. Spelunkers may enjoy touring six of the park's 650 caves that are open to the public. The park also offers several alpine lakes, as well as a 70-meter-high waterfall. There is a similar national park in the neighboring part of Slovakia, also called the Tatra National Park. Number five, Wroclaw. A charming place to visit, Wroclaw's diverse influences have resulted in a unique look and culture to the city. With Austria, Bohemia, and Prussia all having had an impact on the city's development, the architecture reflects Wroclaw's past, as evidenced by the spectacular Market Square. Located on the Odra River, the city has a plethora of bridges and lovely parks lining its banks, which make it a picturesque place to relax. The delightful Cathedral Island is definitely worth stopping by. Number four, Gdansk. Once known as Danzig, Gdansk is the largest city in northern Poland and its main seaport since it lies on the Baltic Sea. Founded around the 10th century, it has a mixed political history. At different times, it belonged to Germany and Poland and was a free state before permanently becoming a part of Poland after World War II. The city rebuilt itself after the war, restoring its old town, which is famous for the royal road that Polish kings traveled on when visiting this historical city. The city also is home to St. Mary Church, the largest brick church in the world. Number three, Wieliczka Salt Mine. Located on the outskirts of Krakow, the Wieliczka Salt Mine is an incredible place to visit. 
Opened in the 13th century, it was one of the longest and oldest operating salt mines until it closed in 2007. The site features an underground city all carved out of the rock salt, including a chapel that is said to have the best acoustics of any structure in Europe. Dozens of ancient sculptures carved from salt are augmented by new sculptures from contemporary artists. Number 2. Warsaw The Polish capital of Warsaw has had a long, complex history, often marked by war and conflict. It was very much damaged during World War II, however, it has been lovingly rebuilt to its former medieval glory, with brightly colored townhouses making for a pretty, if slightly artificial, place to wander around. There's a mixed bag of architecture across the city, including contemporary cafes and bars to discover. There are plenty of outdoor spaces to enjoy, and with a lot of restaurants, it's an excellent destination for foodies. Number 1. Krakow This southern Polish city, close to the Czech Republic, is a former royal capital. There is a beguiling mix of medieval buildings and modern-day, youthful nightlife to soak up here. Krakow is not only known for its old town, complete with the 13th century market square, which is where you'll find the iconic Cloth Hall, the grandiose centerpiece of the square. The former Jewish quarter, with all its synagogues, is somber to walk around, and many tourists visit Krakow to take a trip to Auschwitz, a haunting yet important experience. <laughs> 